I wanted to talk just briefly about um, trying to regulate our own emotions when we're working with a dog uh, who's reactive. Now, I fully get, I, I totally get that it's really challenging when our dog is reactive or the dog that we are working with has shown aggression and reactivity um, behaviours. If our dog is on lead and another dog approaches who's off lead, I get that there's nothing cool about that. I had to do a lot of work with this on for myself on how to deal with that, or de regulate my own emotions, okay? Now, in the history of the world, has anything ever been made calmer by somebody losing their temper, okay? No. Okay, no is the answer to that. Now, what happens is that often I see lots of stuff with some of the really popular trainers uh, on Facebook. And this is both male and female. Uh, where the trainer is aggressive with the person who's a leather uh, off lead dog. Okay, recall your dog, recall your dog. Okay, at best, all right, and you start shouting at the other person. If the person can't recall their dog within one or two shouts, we need to do something else. Okay, and us shouting at the person to recall their dog is no in order to get them to do that to do that is no different from you shouting at your dog over and over and over again and the dog not coming back okay so we are shouting at the person over over again trying to get our result and it's not working the person is shouting our dog back and it's not working okay so we have to change something okay now there's nothing cool about it there is nothing cool about somebody letting their off lead dog into your space when you're working with a dog with reactivity however and this is what I had to learn how to do this. I try and be as cool as possible with the person, okay? So you'll hear, you maybe heard in my previous videos, don't worry about it, pal. Just come in and get your dog, or I assist, or I do everything I can. Even picked the dog up, kept the dog on a, 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 slight, a short lead, moved around with the dog and used my body to block our dog with the other dog and asked the person to come in, okay? Now, if I start shouting at that person, they're already embarrassed enough okay, they are already embarrassed enough that, it, that they can't get their dog back. What can also happen as well is they turn around and say, my dog is only being friendly and our dog is the problem, all right? Now, there's so much wrong with that, which I, I get that you probably know. However, us becoming defensive in that moment and trying to justify our behaviour and point out their fault, again, probably not going to be done calmly, doesn't need to be done at all, okay, and isn't helping, okay, so I, I rarely say things like should and must, okay, because they are, by, by what authority do, do I have, um, what authority do I have over other people's lives, okay, not, not much, <laughs> okay, I have influence, hopefully, through videos like this and through my content and through my education, but I can't tell you what to do, but I think we must get better at doing this, okay, I think for our own sanity and for our dog's sanity, we must get better at doing it. What happens is that when we lose our temper, we teach the dog that an incoming dog makes us weird. So the incoming dog is then something to worry about more. So for our own sake, the sake of our dogs and the sake of the other dog, even if you don't care about the other person, okay? If you're watching this, I dare say that you like dogs. So can we get better at trying to regulate our own emotions and recognise stuff? Um, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice, okay? The better skill that you get, you're then less likely to lose your temper. When you recognise that you've lost your temper, you've become defensive, reflect on it, try not to, for it to happen again. It takes work. I don't do it all the time. I wish I, I could do it all the time, but I, I work at, at it, okay? Much love to you.